but i hope you remember what we did in our uh, last video we learned about if else statements okay how it works and we learned something called fizzbuzz which was i told you a very important programming question so we learned about that okay great okay so truth to be told our function is still kind of terrible it requires to run fizzbuzz every time all right like suppose i want to have uh, like print fizzbuzz for three times i have to run it three times so if i click I have to run it three times and then I get this result. Okay, but I but suppose what if I want to print it hundred times? So what am I going to do? Am I going to write first verse hundred times? Absolutely not. You know, you remember we are programmers, right? What if we can get the computer to run our code hundred times by itself? Are you getting it? I mean, I am not going to write fizzbuzz hundred times, but I am going to modify my code or do something which would allow me to give instruction to computer. Okay, okay, computer, I have written this thing, run it hundred times. Can you do it for me? Computer would say, obviously, I can do it for you, but you have to give me the correct instructions. So, what are the correct instructions for it? So, well, this is where loops come in, and the simplest. type of loop are what we call while loop okay now don't get afraid by okay what is while loop what is this and everything we'll study about everything i'm going to write a syntax for while loop just don't just try to observe it so how while loop works is i'll write while and i'll give it some condition okay like condition let's say okay i have opened the parenthesis and here it would do something okay great now what is here happening here is i i write while and i give it a condition and it does something and it is going to be inside this loop like it would go like this and after this it would go back here and again and again this would happen as long as this condition inside this while loop is true as soon as this condition becomes false we come out of this while loop okay i hope you are understanding it just for a quick example let's have i'm going to write a quick code okay let's say where i is 0 okay i'll say while i is less than 2 this is a condition i am going to have something called not something called i'll just have i printed and then i'll increase my i okay let's uh increase the size a bit all right great now let's open this pen okay Okay. Okay. Works. Now we'll have this one by one. So first of all, what is here? I is zero. We come inside the loop. We'll see is I less than two? Zero is less than two. Obviously, zero is less than two. I'll go inside this loop. What would happen? I uh, if I say this is my output window, I would print one uh, zero here. Okay. Console dot log I, which is zero, and zero is printed. now i is i plus plus sorry this should be semicolon but okay i plus plus i plus plus means i would be increased by 1 so here i is not 0 now it is 1 okay now i increased i'll go back again here the condition would be checked is i less than 2 i is what 1 1 is obviously less than 2 so obviously 
I'll print one as well here. Then I'll again increase the I. I would become what? 2. I'll again come back and check. Is I less than 2? 2 is less than 2? No, obviously not. 2 is equal to 2, but it's not less than 2. Hence, I would not go inside this loop. Uh, can, like inside this loop. And I would come back. So this would be the output which would be printed and this is how a simple while loop works. Isn't it beautiful? Like how we can do something on uh, on our code. Like repeatedly something which I want to be. Okay. Great. Hmm. Now let's come back here. Let's remove all this fizz. I mean fizzable uh, sentences. Only we have to do it once. Now if I want to run this part 100 times. What am I going to do? Simply I can write. While. N. Sorry. N is less than equal to 100. Open this loop. Uh, let's copy this whole part and let's paste it let's save it what I did I okay first let's run the code let's see if it works or not and then I'll give you grade 1 2 phase 4 burst phase 7 8 phase burst 11 burst 14 15 it's phase burst and okay it works and ignore that day, day, day. okay great now um what is happening here let me tell you our n is one okay i go inside this loop one is less than equal to 100 obviously i'll go inside all these if conditions and all where it would come up in the else part i just pushed our n inside our output window oh i sorry output array I increased n, n becomes true, 2 is again less than equal to 100, I'll again come back here, it goes in del spout and 2 is also added in the output array. 3, 3 is obviously less than equal to 100 and, and what, 3 is less than equal to 100, so it would come here, we would uh, push fizz inside our array and yeah that would that would be it then n would be increased to 4 similarly this loop would continue 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 till n becomes 100 n becomes 100 we come inside this n is divisible by 5 so we pushed buzz inside our code and n becomes what 101 i again come back here i check 101 are you less than equal to 100 Obviously not, 101 is greater than 100, so we will come out of this loop. We will come to line 27 after that. It would just console.log our output and that is it. That is our code. Done. Okay, great. So you have understood how great uh, uh, while loop is, but there is a downside for it. So the problem with while loops is that it's actually quite error prone because it will continue to run infinitely until the statement inside here becomes false. Suppose if I didn't put this statement, what would happen? N is 1 and it would continue to be 1 and this loop would continue to, you know, uh, go round in circles infinitely. If I click on my like C fatal error invalid size how many because our memory has been run out of it okay because of just this mistake so while loop is very 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 uh advantageous but you have to use it uh what should i say very cautiously like you have to see that my this condition becomes false at some point okay 
like whenever i want it to be get false it becomes false at that point otherwise it would continue to you know move in the loop and that would be the end for our code okay so great so i hope you understood how while loop works here and i hope you understood how you know we implement it in our code and what are the downsides of it what are the problems of it and how to use it very carefully okay so thank you for watching this video and see you later